Who are you? Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you for having me. That is a banging vest, brother. Only the best for you on the American election. I love it, man. And here you are back in Vancouver, so I thought I'd like to give you a gift right off the bat. Something I didn't give you last time right here. A Cheech and Chong record with the... Rolling paper. Still intact. <laughs> Yo, you could put a lot of bud in here, bro. Look, look at them. They look so happy in there. Now, have you got this one before with the rolling paper before? A fan's brought this to you? No, I haven't. Because I've been waiting two years to give this to you. Seeing it, I've been really jealous, and I haven't got mine yet. So now that I got it, I'm in the game. With Wiz? Khalifa. Khalifa. Now, Wiz, is it true that your mom's friend turned you on to Snoop when you were six years old? Yes. Shout out to her ratchet ass. What happened there? Your mom's friend? Yeah, she used to drive a, um, what did she used to drive? I think it was a uh, Jimmy. You know those Jimmy, GMC Jimmies? She used to drive one of those. She had 12s in the trunk, and she used to listen to the doggy style. And her son, his name was Lil Ray, and he had a box with a, uh, with a rat tail in the back. He was bad as shit. And that was my homie. What's the important Wiz Khalifa of the Homewood Library? Oh man, Homewood Library. <laughs> Yo, me and my uncle Muhammad, we used to go there and download like lyrics from, from music. I, I remember downloading all about the Benjamins and like putting it in my little trapper keeper and having having the lyrics to that. So that was a good one. What can you tell me about Mailman? Oh, Mailman. Yo, Mailman is the homie, yo. Um, he was like in a part of the wave when Dr. Drake came through in like the early 90s and was like signing people from Pittsburgh. So he had a lot to do with the with the chronic and uh like all of the early nineties West Coast music. Him, uh Sam Sneed, Butter, like all of those dudes and they're still around now. They're putting Pittsburgh on the map. Yeah, for sure, man. Shout out to them dudes. Woo woo. But it also goes way back to the 60s there, Wiz. Uh -oh. The Jaggers. Do you know the Jaggers at all? I don't know the Jaggers. They look super cool, though. Actually, you sampled them on Rolling Up. Oh, for real? Yeah, Memoirs of a Traveler. Dang, we went to different schools together. And you have a great song called The Rapper. Girl Talk has sampled that as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl Talk's from the Berg, too. Shout out to Girl Talk. Really, really cool dude. Are these, uh, is this them? Yes, that's him. There it is. I just got a record player for my birthday that like converts from record to MP3 right into the computer. So I'm gonna check this out. And another one I'd like to give you another gift right here was the Pittsburgh sound that relates to. Oh man, this is it right here. Uh, the dynamic superior. This is it, yo? And yeah. If we turn it over right there, we have the song Happy. <laughs> look at these dudes, yo. They look so happy. He has on a lot of makeup, for sure, the eyeliner and everything. But yeah, Pittsburgh sound, all that stuff, man. No, they're not from Pittsburgh, but still, they're part of... That's where it comes from. Like the, We sample some records from them, and um, E. Dan knows a lot about this right here. And Wiz Khalifa, I'd like to go back again and ask you some more stuff here. Oh. Jay Sands, the lone catalyst. Oh, Jay Sands. Wow, this dude is really from the Berg right here. Did you get this from Pittsburgh? Uh, no, I actually got it from Beat Street Records in Vancouver. <laughs> Made it to Vancouver. That's tight. That's what's up, man. Well, shout out to Jay Sands. Yo, I remember hearing this name all the time and being like, yo, I got to get my buzz up like Jay Sands. So, yeah, that's tight. Who did? Oh, I did meet Houdini, yo. Shout out to these dudes. They look different than they do on right here. But, yeah, yo, my dad loved Houdini because he was the type of dude who would just, uh, like, take a shower, put on Freaks Come Out at night, and uh, put on some cologne and get dressed. So that was, he was that type of dude, man. Wiz Khalifa, are you into memorabilia, collecting things like posters and stuff? You played the smoke out with Cypress Hill. Yeah, yeah, for sure, and corn. Are you into, like, collecting stuff like posters from events? Absolutely. Because I was wondering, maybe you don't have a lot of stuff, and I have a little gift here, right here for you, Wiz Khalifa. A special little thing here from Cypress Hill to you. It's from them to me? Well, from Nardwar to you. Yo, this is hard, bruh. What do we have here? This is a freaking, this is the, this is the, this is the jam right here. This is what you need if you, if you smoke pot. And if you you and if you perform that smoke out, I wish it was signed by Cypress Hill though, because I actually got to meet Be Real and smoke with him. It was awesome. So we can we get this signed? Oh, it's all yours. Do whatever you want with it. It's from 1996 to Old School in Columbus, Ohio. So Not this, brand new. So this is the real thing from '96. The real thing from '96. So you can take yourself back. Are you kidding me? Okay, it is. Damn. Thank you, yo. Well, to welcome you back to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Ah, uh, this is a big deal, yo. We got to make sure we don't break this, all right, Will? Yes.
And where's Khalifa? I was wondering, drug paraphernalia, drug records. What can you tell me about Devin the Dude and the Doobie Ashtray? Yo, this is like a classic marijuana smoking, rolling, or this is a good weed song. But Devin the Dude, he's very, very, very musical, very underrated. And he's just like one of the best to ever do it as far as like the genre that um, I consider myself to be carrying on the torch for. So shout out to Devin the Dude as well. I never really got to like publicly say that, but like, yeah, man, Devin is really the dude. Wiz Khalifa as well, Free to Pain, I Get High. Oh, I love this song. I get high, I get high. This is what Styles P sampled. And Frida, she looks really like timeless in this picture, you know what I'm saying? You can't really tell how old she is. Her hair is pretty natural, you know, got the nose ring popping. It's a really good soft touch for uh, for a song for many to enjoy. What's really interesting about Frida Payne is the woman that wrote the song I Get High, Marilyn McLeod, uh -huh. Flying Lotus, that is his grandmother. I could believe that because judging by Flying Lotus's music, his grandmother probably does get high. So I thought, hmm, you got to get some Flying Lotus. So Damn. here's the new Flying Lotus for you. Do you have this one at all? No, I don't, but I'm definitely going to get really stoned to this because if you guys don't know, this is the jam. And isn't it cool that, like, his grandmother wrote, I Get High, Flying Lotus's grandmother? It all makes sense. I mean, you know, it is a circle that we live in. And, and his uncle's John Coltrane as well. Oh, for real? Yes. Lucky bastard. Continue on with the drug paraphernalia with Wiz. Khalifa. Another record I'd like to give you here, because you're in Vancouver, have a... Marijuana. Have a marijuana. I thought you'd enjoy that one. It's by David Peel on the Lower East Side. Yeah, so what do they do on here? Just some amazing tracks on here. One of the first bands ever to say fuck on a record from the 60s. Uh -huh. Check out all the songs. Marijuana, motherfucker, I like marijuana. Oh, yes. All right, so I'll definitely be checking this out for sure. Have a marijuana. Are you into checking out marijuana-related records? Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially from the 60s, because you never know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, you pretty much know what you're going to get from a marijuana-related record. From the 60s? Who knows? Wiz, do you remember playing a frat house at Penn State? Yeah, I do. From Called DU. And after you played it, what happened? Um, we played there a couple times, so it depends on what situation. The frat house got shut down. Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole frat got completely canceled. And if you were caught representing that frat for that school, your ass would be kicked and canceled as well. Quote, the Wiz concert was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yep. So if you want your frat shut down, holla at me. What about Amber Rose? Did she tell you anything about the Young Jeezy or Luda video shoots? Oh, yeah. She told me that Young Jeezy was really nice and Ludacris was super cool. And that's when Chris Brown was, like, really young. So he just came in there and danced like Michael Jackson. All the girls went crazy. So, Wiz, <laughs> Wiz Khalifa, anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Narwar is a cool-ass fucking dude. And Vancouver always shows me love. I love your weed laws out here. Um, I don't know if you smoke weed or not, but... If you don't, you should probably try it or just wh whatever. Weed is cool in Vancouver. Vancouver's awesome. They love Taylor Gang. I love you guys, too. Well, thanks so much, Wiz. Oh, oh, and thank you for the, the gifts because I would be a rude piece of shit. Like, thank you for that stuff, yo. Well, I'm so glad you like it. I'll try to get it signed for you. Okay. So that means I'll take it back and you won't get it. No, <laughs> I'm keeping that. <laughs> That's for you indeed. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Wiz Khalifa. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do, do. Ah. Ah.